Well, hello, everybody. I'm Dainty, and I got Aerie here. How's it going, Aerie? Yo, what's up, game? It's going great. I just paid a lot uh, of I've already complained about it, and I'm super excited for this race. Um, bingo <laughs> has been a pretty spicy tournament so far. Um, some kind of lopsided matches and groups, but once brackets started, like you really got to see why Lockout is actually quite the cool bingo mode. Yeah. Uh, definitely... <laughs> How do I put it? Definitely some feels-bad moments for a lot of runners. Um, you know, especially when it's like, alright, I'm about to buy Zora, and, uh, bless you, Andy, uh, as you're about to buy Zora, and, <laughs> you know, suddenly... Can I sneeze and crash my SNES? What the yeah, fuck? <laughs> you can't, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the snipes, the really close matches, the kind of predictions of what your opponent might be doing and trying to go to a different goal, only to find out that you kind of got mind-gamed. Like, yeah. Lockout, it's it's a really nice mix of information and trying not to fall behind and mm -hmm. trying to find the balance between still doing things that are efficient to get items, but right. also not, like, trying to... Like, just be on someone's heels all the time, because then you're just going to lose. Well, um, I think we're, we're kind of talking a little bit in the race time room, trying to see if we can uh, get ready. Andy's asking if we want his mic on. I'm, I'm kind of leaving it up to him. Um, but uh, I, I want to say, I, you know, I have some sources, and they came in clutch today. You know, the rock star at the lane... Uh, with his approval, right. very much. Uh, <clears throat> My mic's going bye bye. A if staple. You watch the restream. Uh, Twitch.tv. Yeah, Dante. definitely. Like that's <laughs> kind of the, the side of Fallen. You're not used to so seeing make dumb faces. But <laughs> yeah, Hi. you don't see it much. Uh, all right. Well, Andy's mic's gone, so uh, that's what's happening. Um, I'm gonna tell them that I'm good when they are. So I'm pretty sure there's a one minute countdown and I'm assuming when they click this, that is when the, the squares will be revealed. You'll see like there's a little bit of garbage on uh, in the middle uh, around here. We, we I, I made this work, okay? It's not perfect. There's not going to be a square on this restream, but it doesn't matter. We're not going for lines. We're not going for diagonals and we're not going for columns. We're just going for squares and we need to hit what is it? 13 to win? 13, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so during the minutes of the, the pre-race timer, they get, kind of get to see what their early game tactics is going to be, if there's going to be like the four drop-down things, if there's going to be the double light world gambling game thing, and they know, mm -hmm. okay, am I going to go for this? Am I just going to have let my opponent have this? Um, I think you can already reveal it, by the way, as well. So it's just to get an idea of what uh, we're yeah, going to be seeing. I'm, can I reveal it without messing yeah. them up? Okay. Yeah, All right. Because, well, there it is. Because they get to see it during that minute as well. So they probably already clicked it at that time. All right. So <clears throat> that's what we got. Like, see, open six big. So we're going to need some big keys. Um, golden B, that's going to be something to look out for. I don't see anything too fast. I'm trying to get ready to start this timer at the right time. Uh, anything yeah, that so kind of sticks out for you? Yeah, there is the four overall drop downs, and there is the play both light world chess games. So Falane is going to go for, for for the chest here, which probably means that he's going to give up the drop downs, and he's just going to go straight to Hulahan. Like he's going yeah. to drop down first. Okay, so Falane is also going to go for it. That's kind of interesting because I think he can somewhat. Oh, he might just skip the normal drop down. He might just go for Hulahan first, and then. Um, just do go for for the gambling games instead, and let yeah, Andy have to possible. Drop hands. It's definitely possible. The gambling games, you know, obviously need the money. Um, we'll see how Andy wants to play this too. You think they'll read the sign? I always ask that, but I'm afraid they they won't. Uh, not enough <laughs> respect for for the big, for the big victories. A Andy doesn't want to. And he doesn't want to tout himself too too much. Map to Hera. Uh, so, you know, this is key sanity after all. We're going to have to figure out what the crystals and pendants are. Not that we actually need all of them. All right, Andy's just going to die. Seems good. But yes, yes on the, on the other hand, we, do, we need free crystals. 
and we need to have either five maps or five compasses. So the map does give us some information and is some mm -hmm. amount of progression as well. But yeah, it looks yeah, like we're absolutely. just splitting the goals here. That's that's kind of nice. So Flynn is going to go for the, the double gambling game here. So there's one here and there's one in Lost Woods. So he might just save and quit after this. Yeah, and I'm going to go back to Sank. That seems good. Yeah. So the interesting thing is that according to the rules, the the drop the useless fairy dropdown and Hulahan count as two separate dropdowns. So the one in the Lost Woods here is going to be Andy's fourth one. Yep, already. Oh, yeah. okay. So there's going to be a slight difference between there what is, we see yeah. on screen and unfortunately, the, yeah. But that's <laughs> that's a okay. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, we can't get it perfect as far as the timing. There's too many variables because, you know, it looks like they're in sync now. But guess what? I didn't sync them up. Um, so uh, one to one. Going to see how things continue to go. Make sure I don't accidentally stop my timer in the middle of doing all this. Right's always right. Look at that. The 300 mm -hmm. for Philane. That's kind of important, actually. That's a lot of money. I don't remember seeing Sora being a goal. But sometimes that can be like a huge part. Like getting the three hundred from the gambling game means that you're like so much closer to Zora money. Oh yeah, which can be a nice early goal as well. But... Red twenties. Uh, that's always nice to see as far as tree pulls go. So you do have a way to farm. Um, I mean, I don't know. What's really fun about seeing a tournament pop up with Bingo, I think, is just there are so many. You don't know how to meta game at the very beginning, and then the longer it goes you know, the metagaming gets even stronger. So it's like, you can really shoot yourself in the foot uh, in these races more so than like in normal rando. Yeah, for sure. We already see a little bit of metagaming though. Falling just assuming that Andy is going to go for the hard recovery or the, the fortune teller goal. Andy mm. might be just a little bit ahead with the drinking a potion in the tavern. Yeah, going to see here. Falling also tried to go for it got the potion but we might just be able to use it at some point in the future anyway yeah i like that because we can do it you know in the back uh you know take a shot in the back and head on out yeah i kind of think that kind of flavor wise doing it in the front is required but i mean who am i to to judge okay flay not even going for the sick kid item here i think that's maybe a little greedy but yeah but yeah but yeah, having the red potion is kind of nice, ju even just for the having three color potions at once means he doesn't need to get uh, a red potion later. Alright, GT Small, nothing too valuable just yet, but uh, Elaine already at two, evening things up. So, you know, a lot of these in the, the group stage, we saw like you know, for lack of better phrasing, we saw a lot of, of blowouts, but, um, uh, you know, at this point, I don't know, it's been, like, down to the wire for a lot of these. Yeah, for sure. Especially in brackets, there's been a lot of, like, 13 to 10s or something related to that. Okay, <laughs> the fact that we got another red potion is a little bit unfortunate, but it also means that really soon we can actually get that goal. Like, if Felaine saving quits out of blind's hut and then fake flippers over to potion shop he can get a red and he can get a green and a blue oh yeah i still haven't even processed this entire board mainly because i'm looking at it um the way i have it on the stream layout which is chaotic i know but uh <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm reading it that way as well but i'm trying to just kind of in between spring transitions just look at it constantly it's like okay did i miss anything but no it's uh it's a Pretty evenly divided board. Like, there's yeah. one book related one which can be anywhere. Like, we've had a couple of seeds, especially in groups where there always were two book related goals. And then you had book and GT. So, e and we were kind of like, they were forced to play out every seed until the whole board was filled. So, even if it was a blowout win, the winner still needed to like play out the whole seat, get into GT, get the yeah. book, and then do the last two goals. It was always boring. Not boring, but like it was just very stressful for the runners. But first time tournament, so like I think so far everything's been like really fun for all the runners involved, like, you know, barring the, the learning curves aside. Yeah, no, definitely. Like it's not it's definitely not a knock on on the organizers. It's pretty hard to like think of every contingency in that sense. Okay, yeah, so absolutely. 
But it does show that, like, th this can even happen in in the brackets, because if it is a close race and turns out, okay, we do need the book, you're gonna skip a lot of things throughout early and yeah, mid game. Just you really are. You're gonna go for density first, and when later on you need to revisit everything to find that one key or one go mode item to actually get into GT, then that can be a lot of stress. I mean, the other stressful thing is, like, you know, how often do you want to put off going to density, and if you've got something you can beeline? Like, if you could just beeline a goal, like, you want to go ahead and do it, um, but you know if yeah, kind of if your opponent's meta gaming, putting you know saying I'm giving them that goal to get this progression potentially, like you know you could set yourself up for failure by beelining the goal. It's like you just don't know. Yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of trying to get in as much information as possible by seeing what your opponent has done so far, but yeah. also like there can be some time in between goals and you just have zero clue what's actually happened in that time. Yeah, we're not really close to any Dark World Axes yet, so... Um, kind of just going through through the density, like we were saying. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you're going to escape, Falane, in Mini Modern Case, just kind of the, the standard things. The only problem is that Falane is not really in a position to go for Zora right now, unless we find another 300, but we already found two of them. Yeah. Oh, well, there's the 300. <laughs> I mean, easy right. enough. So yeah, he's in... The lane's in a good spot here for that. The question is, like, are you going to want to, you know, go back um, or get that money back with a reset? Yeah, that's a good question. I think... Mm, we didn't really get anything yet. We got a key. Yeah, we got the Eastern Big and the Turtle Rock Small from the dam, so hard resetting is a little bit risky because you're it probably is. going to have to come back for that. Okay, I don't think Andy really found anything in Escape so far. Or was it the Desert Big, maybe? He found that somewhere. Yeah, I think that, that oh, had to be... That's nice. had to be Front of Escape, I think. I don't remember what we got from Sikid. Because I don't think... Flame went back for that. Okay, Flame's just playing it safe, drinking red goo. We have enough goos, so that's kind of nice. Also, opens up a bottle for if we do find the golden bee from Waterfall Fairy. Okay. Oh, Master Sword. That's kind of nice. You know, anything to speed up the offense um, is good. Yeah, for sure. This kind of speeds up Mini Modern Cave as well, which I am just going to assume is Andy's next play. Oh, it is a golden bee. Okay, we're probably Ooh. he's probably gonna go straight for that after checking out Sora. Yeah, I would definitely go for the gold bee as well. Like, there's a good shot, you know. Un unless, like, if he gets to this one, you probably kind of know that the gold bee is all set. Yeah, because he didn't really do that much in between Kak and this, so he mm -hmm. should be in a good spot. There's a small key on Zora, that's just a little awkward. We have no real way of getting that without Moon Pearl or like uh, a bow. So right. you'll just have to remember that there is a key on Zora Ledge for maybe a potential future. Because we do have a goal of six small key doors in Ice Palace, which means that we need both of the small keys and for ice. And that could be one of them. Mm -hmm. We also potentially had the one for Oh, we actually have four small key doors in Skull Woods. So that is a different one. I think we only need two of the two of the keys for that one instead of all three. All right, so number four for the lane. Andy getting his half magic. Uh, okay, really... lane remembering sick it. That's nice. Yeah. No real reaction from Andy seeing the gold disappear. Okay, it wasn't Meyer small. Oh, we haven't actually seen this part yet. I. Oh yeah, we sense. never came down here. <laughs> <laughs> so just to kind of clarify for you guys, this is semifinals. It's going to be a double header. It is best of three. Uh, the other side of the bracket right now is GFE versus Jim. I think those matches are slated for sometime this weekend. So finals, hopefully very soon uh, for this tournament. 
This sword has actually gone pretty fast as well. Like group ma groups maybe took took a bit. Oh, that mm -hmm. cloth is a little awkward because Ooh. I think Elaine really wanted to lift a rock next to Ice Rod Cave. There's the gold oh, wait, that you need to reveal a hidden cave by lifting a rock in both worlds. Right. Um. And the other thing we just saw Andy mess up uh, with his water walk state. You know, we saw that key you were talking about on Zora Ledge. He did not get that info. And with the Zora Square checked off, I don't really see a reason for him to ever go back there. No, definitely not. But maybe maybe if he finds slippers at some point and mm -hmm. is kind of running low on density, it might be an idea. But yeah, because he does know that there is a very small chance that Flynn was able to get whatever was on Zora Ledge. So it's purely the information right. that he has. Okay, Ice Palace is green pendant. It's not super relevant, but it kind of might deter Hydro Runner from going for Cold yeah. Stir at some point. All right, so Andy gonna dive Eastern. Uh, not, does not have that big key. So, you know, if the lane makes his way over here, that could be huge for the lane. That's gonna be one of his big chests, uh, as well as, you know, maybe progression. Yeah, definitely. It's the, going to be a big, big chest difference. Like, especially because it's such an easily accessible one, but you're not gonna come mm -hmm. back for it. Okay, that's what the desert big was, so. Yeah, we do need to enter wow. desert with the book. Okay, well, that's a lot of Tempered swords. Tempered sword, man. Where are those in my co-op cross keys races? Like, 13 minute sword, please. Or tempered, I need it. Okay, so kind of wondering what Falane is planning on doing after this. The logical thing would probably be to do Saha Eastern, because I don't think he really has a lot in logic otherwise. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, he might want to go up to Death Mountain first, just get a couple of quick checks. Because I think he would expect Andy to go to Eastern pretty soon anyway. It just kind of depends on how early he thinks Andy had the gloves. Which, yeah. you know, he doesn't actually have yet. Yeah, he's, he's still <laughs> missing a man, so... <laughs> And here is where it's really easy to start overthinking your yep. decisions. Because it's like, oh wow, those gloves, they Andy could have had those from the beginning if he went to CAC from the south. Uh, yeah. On the other hand... Alright, well, he, he made it through the room just fine. That's that's the, the backup NMG strat. We managed. Andy's probably thankful for the 37 months. He looks very thankful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. Was that five compasses? What? I guess it was. Wow. All right. <laughs> so the lane's up to five. Five to two. Now what, no, Andy? What do you do? The lane's in charge thing. right now. Yeah, in charge. Ahead of goals, ahead in progression. That's the turtle rock big, which is not going to matter until quite a bit later. Falange oh, is yeah. going for, for the straight up choice here. Going to Eastern. Um, well, the lane's basically done everything else except like what, Agina? Yeah, Agina. And the idea is that after... Have either of them checked the spawn rocks? I don't think so. Because they were both just trying to rush the early game goals. Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for the bits with the Kikon. Oh, man. Andy doesn't have his alert self, and I'm dying. It's perfect. <laughs> I, let me guess. That was Solsky. Let's go look. Yep, it was Solsky. <laughs> thanks, Solsky. No hammer on Zora today. Okay, well, at least Felaine is gonna know that book is somewhere early after. <laughs> Alright, let's let's keep an eye on uh on Andy's face as he gets this eastern big. And also on the lane screen as we open the eastern big and see if it's any progression that we're gonna need. You know, Moon Pro would Felaine's be kinda kinda bad, but Thalane's looked kind of stoic so far, the entire seed. Yeah, Thalane's just, he's vibing, he's rocking out. 
Oh yeah, you see it. He's mad. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's mad. I'd be mad to too. Man. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> And he's gonna have a sword advantage for a while, though. Oh, yeah. I don't see Felaine coming back to Dark Cross anytime soon. Alright, Agina. This is finally something new, as we've kind of... The early game is settled down just a little bit. Uh, Lamp! Okay, time well, to, that's... Time to do Agni. That is... Well, oh, not for Andy! He doesn't have the glove! Oh, he doesn't have the glove! That's right! Wait, this is fat keys, right? So I guess Aga is just in logic now. Yeah, dude. So I mean, this is hilarious. At least to start with. And, ooh, hook shot. Okay. Um, like Andy's doing everything right in the wrong order, <laughs> and Delane's doing everything in the right order. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Uh, well, I mean, with lamp and hook shot, it just means that we have to go. We have to go to Death Mountain. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily Aga just yet, but it's a pretty good option just to get that gold. Take three oh, yeah. hits from Aga 1 or 2. Um, so in that sense, it's, it's not bad to just do it. It also means you have an easier time getting to certain parts of the Dark World. Yeah, Eastern Big on the lane side was nothing of value. So uh, don't have to worry about that. We do have a small key here on the torch of desert. Going to be to GT, so nothing valuable yet. Okay, so let's hope he goes to Bonk Rocks first. He's not going to go to Bonk Rocks first. So this is a little awkward. Hey, Andy, it's your hairdresser again, huh? Just making sure you have your alerts on. If you don't get ready for more work, then barra jebonel, 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 barra jebonel. What I'm thinking is Andy has them off for himself. Barra jebonel, 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 barra jebonel. It's that Felaine is going to have to do a double back to Desert later. Also, Felaine, yeah. uh, Andy didn't mark the goal of Enter Desert with the book, so... Uh, oh, no. Andy marked the goal, dude. He's, like, so lost. And he I'm is not going sure, Agate. I'm not sure what the rule is regarding that. I mean, I guess you dispute it after the fact, but, I mean, you know, if you don't mark it, it's kind of on you, I think. Oh, we're just... Both gonna go do Aga. Well, that's really awkward for Flame, but well, that's that. Hmm. Indeed. I guess this is good for Andy. You know, the fact that he's doing this. You know, both of them are missing some very crucial pieces. The other has. You know, hook shot for Andy right now. Glove with the lane. Um, and then of course, like Andy's gonna get this goal. You know, unless he somehow dies in Aga Tower, which I mean, it could happen. The way he's he's forgetting the mark stuff, so. Yeah, uh, I don't really see it happening with Tempered Sword, but you, you never know. Like, yeah, that's kind of the problem, too. Like, Andy's gonna get through Aga Tower quicker than Felaine is. It is really bad, in a, in a sense. Like, it might still be an Aga Seed, but if it's not actually an Aga Seed and Felaine is doing Aga for nothing while also losing the goal, that's a big time investment. Like, having to go to Bonk Rocks, then probably still doing Death Mountain first, then going to Desert, mm -hmm. getting the hook shot, going back to Death Mountain. Like, that's a, kind of, a lot of double backing. Even if it means that Falane will be able to do Lanmo on his first time. Or, yeah, in his first time in Desert. Right. <clears throat> All right, not a terrible Aga Tower so far for Andy. Classic the lane, Kringle. the lane right behind, but you know, I don't know if he's gonna make up this much time in this in this tower. <laughs> but streamer, maybe Andy will get fewer blue balls in the fight. 
So, like, uh, a comment made, you know, in chat right now, because uh, I don't have chat on screen, so, like, for VODs, but, like, I think there there is a rule about, um, you know, marking things as you get them. I don't think you're, I don't think you're allowed to instantly, like, you know, put something off as far as clicking it to, to metagame your opponent or to, like, deceive them. Oh, my God, this music. What even is this MSU? I think it's Pizza Tower. <laughs> the pass by frame to see what ball it is. is yeah, good. I mean, he can't afford to take a lot of hits, you know, like with the regular balls, so. Well, you know, as long as you stop at number five. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see if Andy forgets to mark this one, too. I did mark this, so... Oh, he did? Alright, so we're up to three. I keep okay, thinking so the score playing... on my stream is actually, like, you know, automatic, and it's not, so... <laughs> <laughs> the lane doesn't look too upset by that, though. I think, you know, he's he's, like... He's still feeling all right at the five right now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, very awkward uh, dark world here for both guys. Yeah. Oh, I, I totally guess, forgot we didn't have guess, the pearl either. Yeah, and I guess Annie couldn't even get to North Dark World. I mean, They'll neither one of them can. They, they don't have yeah. no pearl, like so. Yeah. Okay, well, and he's about to get his glove now, so... I'm kind of surprised he didn't go to Lumberjack first. Alright, Aga down for the lane. Yeah, that's a roll lies, indeed. Yeah, because, like, he's thinking, alright, well, I've already been to Desert, could have beaten it at this point. Yeah, Thalane's probably going to get his book here. So then, you know, he's going to be incentivized to go uh, to Desert. He's going to get that goal. Um, and, you know, Andy's not going to be able to, so. Yeah. Maybe, on the other hand, he might think right now, okay, well. Yeah, it's a little awkward. He might think, well, Andy was on Aga before me. So maybe he did the exact same thing, just a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And it's now going to Bonkrox and then just immediately sitting quits after Bonkrox to go into Desert. To yeah, get the true. So it's just really awkward how everything worked here. Yeah, we're finally getting back of escape for Andy. So he's going to get his Samaria. So let's see what's on Lumberjack Legend. Oh, it's Mitz! Oh, it's Mitz! Ooh. That's insane! That's... Huh. Wowie wow wow. What does this mean? <laughs> I guess it means that we're going to get our pearl up here on the mountain. Uh, and then we'll be able to have, like, you know, dark mountain access right then. Okay, that might still... I guess in this case, it's super good then that Andy didn't mark desert. Because I at least... Yeah, is somewhat the lane incentivized will... to just go there and get and get the hook. He'll probably think he's going to get screwed by it here in just a bit, though. Like, he's doing mountain. Uh, he's going to run out of things here. Unless, I mean, if he gets mirror and hammer and, like, the t like, okay, he didn't. I was about to say, if he gets those in, like, the two checks, it's going to be kind of wild. Because that would give him, you know, right side access. Yeah. But, yeah, now he's probably going to be forced into desert anyway. Does mean that Andy's going to get there first. But at least there's no huge slew of, of goals that are like, mm -hmm. well, bring bring a follower to Catfish, or, well, there is a follower to Catfish. So I guess Andy will probably be able to get that first. 
Yeah, possibly. Yeah, and the, the pod in Hookshot Fairy Cave. Okay, oh, well, Andy, now he... Andy marked it. He, okay, he remembered. Like, it just lit up, so... The lane probably thinking, all right, he's, like, right behind me. Um, you know, not intentional, but... That's a really awkward timing to light it up, though. The hope immediately dashed away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. I think with a tournament like this, though, you know, not defending what Andy did there, but, uh, you know, as long as you're attempting to do everything by the rules, by the spirit of the rules, um, you know... There's there's going to be some mishaps, you know. We don't have auto tracking for for goals. That would be really cool, but uh, you know, we don't have that. Yeah, it would be super cool. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I guess it'll take a bit. I would assume that Flynn is going to beat Lamos here, especially now that Andy got the the hookshot fairy cave goal. Mm-hmm. I mean, Otherwise, I thought maybe Flame would be Ooh. able to get the... Oh, that's pretty nasty. Mira's good. Yeah, that also means that Andy will get the E for Tablet goal. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that also means that he'll be first to the Hidden Cave by lifting a rock in both worlds. Even though, I guess, it's not super easy to get to one of the Light World rocks on either mm -hmm. Ice Rod Cave or, or Smoke Rock. Right. Now, the other thing to consider, I mean, I guess we need Desert Small, like, for for maybe progression to be on, uh, on Landmo. But, I mean, there is the possibility for that, I guess. Yeah, it's not really in logic, though, without the small key. Right. Yeah, we'd have to find that somewhere. And I, I mean, there's not a lot left. I, I think there's, like, nothing left. I feel like this has to be the pearl. Or either the but desert it small. Could be <laughs> it could be, could be in Hera. With that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We just got that. All right, there's the pearl. Okay. All right, so that makes a little more sense. Andy probably get a yeah head straight to Dark World, utilize Mirror. Um, yeah, pro probably go into the store next to Super Bunny Cave, get an item there, get that goal. Um, but oh, that's pretty smart on Flame's part doing this. Yeah, goal. the tile room now. Yeah, because you never know if you're gonna get the Hera small. So yeah, exactly. I mean, they both have it, but. Might as well get it out of the way, because Flame doesn't know that he's going to be able to get there when he gets to Death Mountain. Mm-hmm. All right, two items coming up here in Super Bunny. Oh, he's not even going to go for Lamo. Okay, I don't exactly know how I feel mm. about that, but... Yeah, this is a little awkward. Oh, he stole the key. He doesn't. He's actually just gonna go to right side. That's kind of spicy. It is. Oh, a fire rod there for Andy and Super Bunny. So both rods. We've got two TR smalls. Uh, we're a hammer and a small, and maybe a medallion. I mean, it's a lot of things I know, but it's very possible we could do this uh, ether. So we are gonna need that. Yeah. I I I figured the lane. Did he not? Did he not? Save scum this? Like, did he not set nope, up a, a nope. death? Nope. Oh, no. Oh, Harry up big, too. Okay. Uh, nothing here. Okay, well. There's a gal. One of the ice keys. That's pretty important. Yeah, we're going to need all of them today. Uh... All right, so the lane now going to be backtracking on the mountain. I'm kind of surprised Andy took the save and quit uh, from Hookshot. Oh, wait. He has not checked. I think he hasn't checked, like, Spec Rock. So, probably... No? Alright. He's not... I figured he'd go do Hera and stuff. Nah, he wants to lift a rock for that goal.
Yeah. All right, Andy up to seven. Yeah, he's kind of taking over now. Like, he'll... I don't know if he's going to go straight for... No, it doesn't look like he's going to go straight for the Eva tablet. Um, wouldn't have been a bad idea. He can't full clear Hera. Do you have to... Let's see, is, uh, what is the goal? Is it Ether and Bombos or just one? Ether or Bombos. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand... I would have gone for that. Maybe he didn't notice it. Um, like, he was right there. Plus, Bombos was kind of near Smoke Rock. Oh, yeah, Thalane. but it's kind of hard. It, it's kind of hard to get to Smoke Rock, dude. Oh, yeah, that's no. true. Well, this is this is really awkward. This is super awkward. Long, unless Hammer is in. Oh, well, it's still awkward because Her Herabic was. Yeah. In Dark Death Mountain. Yeah, oh, it's, man. it is awkward. But I mean, you know, if he gets Hammer, he's fine. But. We'll see. Yeah, it seems a little bit unlikely. This is what oh, Bingo does, though. It's like, I, I said this to someone, uh, and it's like, you watch good runners make the absolute worst plays as far as, you know, the, norm, the, the normal way you look at competitive rando. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Not the one we need, but maybe for Meyer. Mushroom. Okay. Andy shaking his head when he saw that light up. I think he just realized, man, I could have got that. Yeah. Another GT small. Okay, well, we want all the hard pieces so far because there's still the 11 total hearts or red mail, so every little piece helps. Oh, yeah. I think one of the really weird ones to go for is the max out bomb or arrow capacity because it is a big time and money investment absolutely and yeah but on the other hand you can kind of go for it at any point too it's like when do you pull the trigger mm -hmm. also this is a little weird um oh blue mail fourth lane here in hera uh i didn't know we got the hera small like you know the lane yeah. already did a tile room so Will he do another tower? He kind of has to because he doesn't yeah. have Moon Pearl. Oh, yeah, he's gonna think that's where it is, probably. All right, big key to ice in back of Skull Woods. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, Moldorm down for the lane. Let's see what Moldorm's got for us. Small key to GT. I think between that's... the runners, that's like all four of them. Yeah, I think so, because we found another one in Skullwood, so that's pr that would be eight for lane sport. All right, mall fight coming up for Andy. Hey, okay, nice fight. Tempered helping. Okay, that's a crystal, so one a pop. Yeah, so that's one out of three. You're gonna need one, like three of those for the goal. Um. Head or GT Big Chest, so you, you kind of hope that maybe you can like get in the driver's seat for the seed and not have to worry about that one. Same thing with like the Skullwood Smalls and the Ice Smalls. They're just yeah, so those convenient. Can be, those can be super awkward go modes, mm -hmm. but it's the same with uh, yeah, throw a bottle into the Pyramid Fairy Hole. It's like or in the pool. It's like yeah, then you have to find out what the five six are, which means you have to go into the bomb feather shop. It's like, do you really want to spend the time doing that when right. you maybe can just get a landslide win? That's seven v six though. It's, uh, like you, I think at this point both runners have to start thinking a bit long term as well. Yeah, you definitely do. Um, you know, the lane now really probably feeling it a little bit. Having you know, knowing Moon Pearls over here. Uh, and then, you know, probably thinking, all right, well, he's he's probably got this. Okay, well, this kind of makes a bit of sense. Mm, yeah. 
I don't know how much I like this. Okay. I really don't know how much I like this. Yeah, I'm like super confused. But whatever works. It's probably not going to be that much slower. It's fine. All right, Andy went into Thieves, decided to bail. Maybe checking for the big key first here. Did see a couple yeah, big... races, or at least one race, where, you know, we saw a runner um, go steal the, the small key in Thieves Town uh, after getting the big, and, you know, getting the big chest that way uh, really made for <laughs> an interesting finish. Yeah, it's... Uh... These are kind of the heads up plays that you sometimes need to make. Like, if you're really counting the big chest, okay, well, I'm a four mm -hmm. now. I'll just do that and then hope to find another big key for the goal. And then it's it's definitely not bad, even if it kind of, like, gives your, your yeah. other options for a little bit. All right, the lane yeah. looking pretty happy to find that Moon Pearl. Finally. But like right now he does, or in a bit, he does know that at least Andy is going to spend some time going to Catfish. Yes. That can give Falling a little bit of a window to to kind of do his own thing. Yeah, it's where you really hope that, like, you know, once you see that lit up, it's like, all right, please tell me there's no progression there because I don't want to have to go. Uh, yeah. and Especially well, if you kinda... have other things to do. Yeah, he kind of has to assume that there's going to be nothing here, because otherwise he's just going to be trailing Andy for the rest of the scene. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like the divergence point. Okay, well, he did this. I I have to stay away from here for at least a little bit. I have to do my own thing. Yeah, just a map. All right, so will Andy go to Zora area? No. Still not going to know about that small key. That's That's dead. Well, it was a small, right? Or was it a big? Yeah, it was a small, yeah. Okay. I mean, if that's an ice small, that's that's like, that's huge. Like, for the yeah. like potential late game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The other question is, like, is Falane now going to go back to Hera for the triple dip to get the big chest? I kind of think he has to at this point. But yeah, I would. Under the kind of... Okay, maybe not then. It's, it's kind of the idea. Andy did not do... E for Abombo's tablet. So he probably didn't do Hera either. Right. I think that's kind of what you have to assume. But maybe he's going to leave it as the last one. He got two so far. But... <laughs> so Mistakes between runners is like the, the ultimate way to really confuse your opponent. Wow, flute on Smith. So that's, that's really nice to get. That's going to allow Andy to complete Desert if he needs to, you know, pretty quickly. Where is Falane going? Is this gonna be the water walk for the small key? Uh well, not if you're gonna go into Oh no. None of this makes any sense then. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Oh he's sure. going to his home and native land. Like the lane's going home. It's Ice Palace. We're going. Okay, sure. It makes sense. I mean Andy's uh, this is good for Thelane because he is gonna beat Andy to where he needs to go, barring any mishaps. That is true. That's, uh, kind of, kind of a baller play. Yeah. I think in response, Andy might go for the, the bomb upgrades, or the arrow upgrades, rather. I, I think that's a really smart play because you're here, you've got enough money, um, you know your opponent is here, most likely. So, uh, you know, maybe they don't have the money. Maybe he metagames himself out of it, though, and thinks, all right, well, if, yeah. got, if I got all this money, Thelane does too. Um, I guess he does know that, you know, Thelane bought Zora, so it's potential. Yeah. Okay, no reaction yet from Andy. Oh, yeah, there, oh, there it is. is. There it is. <laughs> Bro, are you serious? Oh, 300 oh, bucks no. for Thelane? Oh, That's huge! That's huge! 
I think he needs 700 to buy all the upgrades. He's got it. Like, I, dude, I'd mirror out of here. I would mirror out of here and do it. Uh... Granted, he probably thinks Andy's like doing something over in West Dark World or something because, you know, yeah, he probably thinks, well, okay, and... maybe, maybe I just have all the time in the world now. <laughs> It'll do day now. <laughs> yeah, well, Andy's Nothing probably else. getting ready to get another feels bad. Now it's the game of chicken. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Saving. Oh, he's saving oh. and quitting! That's kind of nuts. I think with the 700, I. I probably would have gone for it. Like it's a long investment, but you're you're behind a yeah. goal. Yeah. He's gonna go for. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about going for catfish at this point, but. No, oh, he's he's hooking okay, over. Okay. This is probably okay. maybe. Is this a graveyard ledge? Can yeah, that's probably graveyard yeah. ledge. And then continuing over to. To the rest. All right, so Andy's about to get his ninth. Who turned on the lights? Well, I didn't even consider it. Yeah, Andy does have the, the flutes. Still needs... Maybe... Mm. Maybe Meyer is... Yeah, if, if Meyer's ether, then that kind of screws Andy a bit. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We gotta. We have to go through this uh, shopping simulator. I need. I need the option like Amazon add to cart, like and just keep adding to cart and then buy all at once. You know. Uh, did we see that bow? No, that's new info. All right. Well, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so both of us are doing the exact same thing here. Which is completing Skullwoods with being able to open four of the key doors. Alright, what is it for Meyer? Was that Bombos? Bombos, yeah, it was Bombos. Okay. Oh, if that was the eye small, I would have laughed so hard. <laughs> oh, God. Swamp small? Pretty good, though. Might be crystal number three for either runner. Well, once we find slivers. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Andy's in a spot now, you know, three crystals if desert is one of them. Uh, it's very doable. That, that'll give him two. Um, and then Harrow has number three, yeah? Right. But, you know, if the lane's going to be at two as soon as he beats Moth here... Yeah, except that he used the Desert Small. The... Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I mean, it a could be a pendant. So... Yeah, it could be a pendant. But let's look at any of these. We don't really have a lot of information. We know about thieves and ice. I don't, well, we knew about ice because of Saha, but right, right. Um, all right. So Andy getting ready to do tile room here, I guess. And fully and logic as well with the three Meyer smalls that we got. They had some oh yeah, we do have it's three of those. So I don't I feel think like... it feels too bad to be in here. Yeah, it's not terrible. I do feel like, you know, every time you do have the three Meyer Spalls and you're like, all right, this is in logic, it, it ends up being like complete trash. Yeah. Well, that's probably, it feels bad for Flame. Mm hmm. Always a stoic face, then. Yeah, he's, 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 you know, he's fine. Yeah, this is the gamer phase. Little did he know that, well, 
<laughs> and he did the same thing in Eastern. All right, yeah, uh, Andy headed to... He's going to do the hair tile room. I think that's smart. Yeah, I think that's very reasonable. Kind of combining tile room plus... Um, plus the crystal. Do we know how many big chest Andy's at? I'm I'm having a hard time counting. Um, desert and ice, I think. So this is gonna okay. be number three. And Falain had desert and Hera. Uh, and, and Eastern. Eastern. And Eastern. He does have and Eastern, Eastern. done. So both are free after this. Yeah, I do think that Falain will get loot pretty soon. Neither of them have checked Hive Cave yet, by the way. Isn't that, like, a sin of the greatest proportions? Nah, it's it's 2024, man. Like, checking Hype Cave in 2024 or skipping it is, like, I don't know. It's it's the new meta. Oh, that's fair. Oh, we just, we all in rando, we just skip everything now. <laughs> Alright, Andy on 10. With that tile room. So, Flame may be sweating a little bit right now. Yeah, this is when you start to feel like the pressure just a bit. You kind of need something to swing your way. Yeah. Flame is either a heart or a mail upgrade away from... Getting a goal. So that could be a little bit of a game changer. And then it's like either a yeah. skull with small eyes, small. Like, could be here. It could be pretty big, but. Also, this Hera big chest. It's a little awkward. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it's gonna be. Small key pod. Ooh. It's, uh, it's a little potters. Okay, well, that's goal. That's 11 hearts. Yeah. We're gonna be 11 to 8. There's... A couple of really awkward ones. Are we gonna be 11? This is... I mean, Andy doesn't... Andy's sitting at 10 still. Wait. I thought... No, never mind. I'm a dummy. I thought this was his third crystal. Yeah, he was in the desert area, just didn't do it. Um, yeah, Failed exactly. to do the Hera tile room. All that dead rock, though. <laughs> Katie always in the way. All right, so mushroom coming up here for Andy, uh, and flute coming up for the lane. Um, will the lane go ahead and just do purple chest? You know, Andy's left that by itself just because of the whole bring a visitor deal. Um, the catfish, so it could be huge for the lane if something's there. I would assume so. Like, I think at this point you take purple chests. You kind of like walk over to activate the flute, flute to summon, and then yeah. just flute back to go back into the dark world. That's kind of the idea that I have right now, but. Right. But I can also imagine that after turning a purple chest, he only wants to uh, do mire. But yeah, again, then you kind of run the risk into just following Andy too much. But like, how much choice do you have at this point? Like, he knows he brought a follower to Catfish, so maybe he just assumes, like, with everything that Andy has done in the, ball, like, in the meanwhile. Right. In the meantime, that he didn't really do South Dark World, but it's so hard to really gauge how long everything takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if this is a pendant, though, on Andy's side, then it could be pretty awkward. 
he's not even fluting to turn the pulse So yeah, he's just gonna do the whole dark world loop here. I kind of, I kind of like that idea, um, just because like there's a really good chance, like with the squares that have been lighting up, that uh, you know Andy hasn't done this, uh, and we did just see one light up. So Andy is gonna get a crystal here. It looks like. Uh, to put him at 11, so th and I, this is really when you start to sweat a bit. I think the lane's playing now to his win condition, and, you know, it's just a matter of what is he going to find. Yeah, it really feels like it's, like, the, you really want to find the small keys. Okay, that's a skull small. Oh, it's like, do you really break this off right now? Just go straight back? Like, uh, the margins man. are so small right now. I think the, the lane kind of has to. Yeah, he's not doing Stumpy. Just going to turn this in and probably run back to Skull. Yeah, I think you have to. Oh, is that the Ice one? Oh, it's another Skull! Oh, that's so awkward! Oh, dude! You've got to be... Oh, big for the lane. Oh, that's Swamp, though. He flew the next two! Oh, oh this is going to be close, dude. Oh, this, this is really funny, because one of them's about to be ticked. Honestly, I kind of hope it's Andy, because we'll get a reaction out of him. But... <laughs> like, how, how synced are the two streams? Like, it's one of, like... It's... Are they it, they're not perfect. So, uh, I felt... Andy is a little ahead. So, like, the lane at this point is actually probably really ahead. Because uh, when they started, the lane started second of the two on the restream. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Andy. <laughs> He's like, oh, bro, you gotta be kidding me. Pull <laughs> back in the driver's seat. <laughs> Did Andy still not check in? Uh, I mean, obviously we don't have Kate, but he doesn't know about that bow. I mean, he knows the the miss the miss flute cost it. I just wanted to call out the Giga skill issue of Miss Flute and their cost in you that square shameful display. <laughs> Andy, it's your boy Dante. I just wanted to call out the Giga skill issue of Miss Flute and their cost in you that square. I'm dead. Display. Yeah, so fucking good. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for that, Solsky. Uh, <laughs> it's almost a shame that this is a doubleheader. I would have loved to to probe them about these snipes. I mean, write it down. <laughs> we'll um, write them down. We'll we'll talk about them. All right, hype cave at the fifty-four minute mark. Small key to Thieves Town. I was about to say, if it's ice, you just leave and go. <laughs> oh, oh skull, it's big! We're gonna triple dip Skull Woods today, guys. Can you believe this? Oh yeah, we need hammer for ice. Never mind. <laughs> they've they've pretty shot. It's pretty close to hammer go mode at this point. Yeah, they've shot so many holes in like the map tracker at this point. I'm like, I don't know where anything is. You don't need hammer to get all the doors, right? Oh, you do, you do, because you need the small key under the, the big the big rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Bobo's tablet, put the lane just to compass. Okay, so Flame probably doing the Meyer stuff now. Or going back to stuff. I mean, this is a big chest, so like, if it's Meyer big, he looks like a genius. True. And yeah, there's still the free Dark Bolt dungeons too, like... Hammer and well, with hammer you can do ice. With flippers you can do swamp. I guess there's no one item that really gives us like two two dark world dungeons, but <laughs> <laughs> that reaction's so good. Okay, well, it's Just almost aggression. We can get in swamp now, right? That's that's what that means. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're apathy duck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, we're just... Alright, going straight to... Hera. Tablet for Andy, and then, yeah, Hera for... Okay. The lane? So... Richard gives it gives him the pot small, though. That's... Does get him the big chest. All right, so what is left? The big chests, pull pet or GT big, six smalls in ice, and three dark world dungeons. So not a we lot might, left. I think like we're gonna get down to it being like 12, 11 or something. And it being a really awkward call to- Yeah. Like, are you gonna go for, are you gonna go for Pyramid Fairy? Are you gonna go for pet or GT? Do we even know I, what Pyramid Fairy is right now? Like, I don't no. think anyone's paused to even see if they have a red crystal. Yeah, we might have seen a pause somewhere, but... Oh my god, Flame really is just gonna go for all the big chests. But... I, it makes sense. You're not, you're not gonna be... You're not able to get number six yet. That's the awkward part. Mm. And Andy, Andy getting the skull big now, shaking his head. I think doing this before my area is just a bit too greedy. I mean, it. Uh, I guess not. I mean, if you think about it, like, the lane knows that Andy has been to Meyer. Uh, it looks like it was Hera and Meyer. Um, but, like, I don't know. It, 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 you kind of metagame yourself out of it just because you know he's done the tile room there because you don't have ether and you've checked a whole lot. So, like, most likely it wasn't the TR tile room. Are there any other tile rooms that I'm not aware of or forgetting in Dark World? No, it's, it, it's Turtle Rock, GT, or Meyer. Yeah. All right, Andy going for pod here. Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. Like, might be able to combine it with uh, Eastern Big as well. Yeah, hoping for a bow maybe. Uh, you know, I mean, GT is starting to look viable. Is it five to enter? I forget. Or is Wait, it, is, is it seven? No, it's just yeah. seven. It's just it seven, is seven? Yeah. Okay. All right. There's so many tournaments with different rule sets, I never know which one's which anymore. Uh, Andy did six checks in Mario, I think. Everything except for the big key ones. I don't think he actually did the right side. Oh, maybe? maybe? Yeah, I think he just did the tile rooms in Bale. Or the tile room, like, in the left two chests in Bale. I could be wrong, though. Okay. Elaine, where are we going? What is even left in this area? He's gonna, like, Mario ground pound all the hammer pegs. <laughs> and then we'll just check hammer pegs that way. Nice over. Ooh, small key. Oh, that's this a second dungeon. small key. All right. That's the big chest. Oh, that's going to be really close, too. Because Flay's going to go there now as well. Yeah. And then... Um, he's Not gonna... doing the front chest. And then... He's gonna no because he can. He's gonna get the big chest. Then he's gonna oh, mirror. Yeah. Gonna go he's to, go to Eastern. Eastern. Okay, well he's gonna do the rest first. Okay, TR small. So when we get in there, we could beat it. Yeah, that's like that's an option. I don't know how good of an option it'll be, but I'm pretty sure Andy did ice spot as big. He did. He did do Ice yeah. Big, so... Yeah, he just needs to do Skull Woods and Eastern. Okay, well then, I think... Uh, it kind of depends... on whether Flayne's gonna Sequence Break or not. All 
right, yeah, so Andy is going to continue here. Anything in Dark Maze. Oh, Red Mail, but too late. Too late. With the 11, with the, the either or condition. So, did Andy not do Stalfo's Basement? Like... Uh, I don't think he did. Okay. Massively confused. All right, the lane's showing us Potion camera unlock in pod. We never see this nowadays. You it's, don't. All it's all mimic lifts or east east pod hovers. And I think this is number five for Andy. He hasn't done Skull Woods yet. Yeah, he'll probably flute there. That'll get him at uh, game point. Lane's pogging so hard right now. I feel like he's staring into our souls. Pretty reasonable, TBH. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, please. Please just immediately bomb. Okay, he's immediately bomb jumping, I think. Yeah, this is going to be another snipe, potentially. Oh, God, it is. Oh, man. Yeah, because the lane is. <laughs> this is the biggest feels bad in his. <laughs> What? Oh, no. What happened? I don't know. Spoilers, oh it lit up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. He is so bad. All right, the lane's still in this. How does this keep happening? <laughs> Dude, if he just hadn't have misfluted. You know, he wouldn't have wasted that time. It was <laughs> no waste. It all adds up, man. Skullwoods is just cursed. Still not checking bumper ledge. <clears throat> yeah, not now. Everything's really looming. The problem is. Play needs three out of the four, so he needs to get at least either Pyramid Fury yeah. or Pellet or GT Big. Yeah, and Andy has that info. Thalane does not. Um, I think he knows, obviously, with Hera due to clearing it, maybe did, he did check the pause menu. Yeah. I mean, do you do you suck it up if you're Andy and go back to Meyer? I think that's where the lane's probably gonna go now. There's got yeah, to be has, some form of progression to. there. Yeah, it's there's like got to be anything else left. All right, Andy's gonna get there first. Yeah, I don't know what. Flane. Okay, Flane's finally gonna go. I just wanted to reaffirm that, yeah, that snipe was hilarious, and we're all keeping that win right now. <laughs> Oh, the mushroom terrain, yeah, sure. Mushroom terrain plus catfish plus. Yeah. Oh, there's I a don't cape? Know. Andy doesn't know though, but that's the bow. Like. <laughs> it doesn't do anything aside from. Well, I mean, it puts. You can finish possibly. Eastern. But yeah. It's, it's not like something immediate, but like if the GT. I guess like the GT needing to be there. Uh. It starts to put that in your in your mind. Wait, he did literally one check in here? Oh. oh yeah, wow, he did okay. he did the the north room. Well compass, I guess is what it is. So like he didn't do he probably should have done uh I guess cutscene, but it's so long. I get it. Yeah, okay, well then progression's definitely in here. What's even worse is like, you know, he... <laughs> when he was here, he had all three. So like, 
whatever's here is in logic, like through and through, except for oh, big, yeah, obviously. For sure. Like, and Thelane is trailing right now. This is kind of bad for him. Like, if, if Meyer Big shows up in here, um, you know, then we have the problem of, like, you know, going straight to Pyramid Fairy, and he'll probably try to do the same and waste a little bit of invested time that way. Yeah. Like, the question is, like, you know, and he's been here, like... Oh, oh my god! god. Dude! Well... And you're gonna need a pot small, but otherwise, like right now, you can get the free Dark World Crystals. Oh, you can actually, oh, you can actually, like, you can do Ice and Turtle Rock now. Oh, well, need Ether. Need, need Ether, ether but, but yeah, Ice is an option. We still don't know what the other pendants are. Swamp? Uh, well, we don't have flippers, never flippers. mind. Yeah. Yeah, Felaini's got Swamp Small out of Meyer Shed still. Yeah, this is uh, a classic case of mm -hmm. kind of mind gaming yourself out of progression. Yeah, I mean, now there's like, what, two chests left in ice to do, uh, you know, at least that are hammer locked. Uh, hammer yeah, pegs on the oh, alright there's your flippers so at this point I think you just straight I think you go swamp yeah I think you just do swamp ice you've got and see andy has got the, the big but never mind uh, that doesn't matter anymore Jesus oh guys I guess ice doesn't matter because it's not a crystal wait it's mm -hmm. dark world dungeons right yeah it's just dark yeah world it's dark world so. dungeons so you do this and so then you go straight to ice after alright the lane not too surprised about the hammer um does get it though. Yeah, plus, you know, like Telethar saying in chat, like if you go here first, you potentially get that Ice Palace small key and then you're you're all set. Oh, for, for sure. It's so hard to like keep up with like the goals, you know, like and process the game and the logic of the, the seed at the same time. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously when it gets here, it's a matter of, like, a waiting game. Nerves really start to kick in, too. I mean, especially once you got sniped twice. Like, you think, mm -hmm. maybe you start thinking, well, I should have won at this point. If only I didn't miss loot this one time. All right, first chest the swamp. We got something new to check. Three hundred bucks. And the lane finishing up. Meyer gonna mirror out. We'll see where he decides to go. He's probably, I mean, unfortunately for him, he's probably gonna be following in Andy's footsteps here. I think the real chat move would just be to go into Total Rock here. Honestly. They both spent, yeah, they both spent both their pod smalls. So I was about to say with the hammer and the lane's knowledge of bow, you know, that gives him a couple extra, um, a couple extra checks, but you know, we need another pod small to finish it. None of the checks are good now, except where Andy is. Yeah. All right, where are we dropping? We're going to one. Oh, it's ace. All right, we're doing ice. Okay. Yeah, we're going to so, finish it. That's kind of, kind of a shame without the extra small key, but. Yeah, it, it's unfortunate, but. Hey, maybe it's, we've got Kane. Maybe it's on cold stair. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I would hate it. I would, I'd hate it so much. I think this is 100% inventory, or not inventory, but uh, whatever it is. Not locations.
All right, phase two of Argus for Andy. Executed to perfection. <laughs> Beautiful fight. No, no mistakes. The book bit. I've never seen Andy so pensive just, or nervous, yeah, anxious, yeah. 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 <laughs> Earlier in the bracket stage, I think he looked about the same against P-Train when they did their triple header one night. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love the instinct to always grab the pot and throw it to the left, even if you already grabbed the chest before. Mm hmm So if this is going to be... Like, if both get a win here, like, when is Game free going to be? Did they already schedule uh, I have no idea. I know if they decide to do a triple header, I'm not going to be able to restream all of them. I got to do a co-op cross keys later tonight, so... <laughs> uh, you know... <laughs> It's pretty reasonable. I signed up for two. And I low-key hope it's 1-1. One, one. Because I, when, I, it, when we get there, I because I, I want a game three. I want three of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, they haven't scheduled it yet. Okay. Mm. Yo, smiley right, well face! The perfect statue pool on um, off lane's part. Oh gotta, yeah, gotta show it up. All right, here we go. Pendant time for the lane here in just a moment, but we do have to get through. Oh, I forgot he is on Master Sword. <laughs> yeah, he still hasn't got to Dark Cross. Yeah, he ain't ever getting that, dude. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's gone forever. I so hoped it was a small key. Yeah, because then you, you just go right back in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, green pendant, so time to check Saha. I think progression is yeah. there, or Eastern boss. Right, yeah. I guess you just grab the bow first, then. Is it? Yeah, maybe. Uh, we're gonna go with Swamp. Sorry. Yeah, he's doing Swamp. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. Uh, <clears throat> but there is number 12 for Andy. So game point. Just needs one more to take game one. Yeah, and Alpha Lane is in a really awkward spot because he needs to be as full clear as possible while also being faster than Andy to, to everything. Um... Yeah, Andy's just gonna go back in to get the chest. That's a little awkward, maybe a, but that's uh, maybe a bit too passive. But I guess he's also just running real low on locations. Mm -hmm. I mean, and... yeah, he's got. I think he has bumper cave. Like, I think that's it. And left side swamp. He did skip that. So, yeah. I, if I'm the lane, I I think I do left side swamp. You just kind of hope and pray it's something. Yeah, I think so. Uh... But yeah, green pattern turn in, still a thing. Yeah, if Ice Key potentially is on... Spike... There's still Hammer Packs and Spike Cave, by the way. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. He's already grabbing the small key, yeah. so I guess he's just going to do everything at once. All right. Zigging and zagging over the ice. Which chest did he not open? Um, I thought it was Ice-T. Oh, 
I don't know what he's really doing because he's still. I think he's needs opening. Yeah, he's he's opening doors, but. Probably thinking he may need that. I mean, Thalane's really in this, like, if if uh, Meyer Big is over here left side swamp. Yeah, if something, if something is left side swamp that just leads to, like, game progression, mm -hmm. then he's definitely in this. He, like, especially with the bow information. Right. Yeah, I mean, Meyer Big would give, uh, would give him Pyramid Fairy. So that gives him 11... And then it's a matter of who can pull pet or GT big first. So, also that's yeah. a really awkward shovel. I don't think is that the first time we've seen that. No, we we've seen that before. Okay. I think at least Flame checked it. I think. Okay. I, I I definitely remember seeing it. All right, what is on Hobo today? Big Key Meyer. Oh my god, okay. Alright, well, let's go mode that's for game. Andy. Yeah, he's gonna head on. Boy, that's a little awkward. Okay. <laughs> if that was yeah. ice small, that would have also been a little awkward. It would have, yeah. but just a matter now of beating uh beating Meyer for Andy. Yeah. I need I need Andy to have a heart rate monitor on while while doing these bingo races just so we oh, can yeah. see see the it's the nerves so kick stressful. in right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, game 2 is going to be like right after this. Uh probably they'll probably take like you know bathroom break, you know. Knowing Andy, it'll be a 20 minute break, but <laughs> And he's taking extended breaks? Never. Alright, the lane in back of Swamp. Gonna be taking on Argus here in just a bit. Andy just a few rooms away, does have Spooky activated, just gotta do it. Not in this room though, he remembers. Yeah. Doesn't even muscle memory Spooky one, imagine. Yeah, and in the end, it really boiled down mm -hmm. to Falane, Falane going to Aga before checking yeah. Bomb Rocks and, and Death Mountain. Definitely so. All right, there's the second 5-6 for Andy. So just got to run to Pyramid Fairy. And toss a bottle in. I'm gonna laugh if he's if his bottles are all full. I don't think they are, but it would be kind of funny just to see the stress. It would be great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is a shovel. Have been, have been wonderful. It's a shovel for the lane. I guess he's just gonna continue over to Hobo after this. No. Andy's He's... mouth has had never been such a thin line. <laughs> <laughs> it's always awkward, like, because he's got his mic off, so it's like, it's always awkward when your cam's on, and you can't really talk to the people looking at you. Yeah, so you kind of try to convey it by mm -hmm. exaggerating your facial expressions. I do it as well. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Delane's handling, handling it much better than Andy right now, I think, so... Yeah, yeah, even... Even in the face of adversity. Oh, dude, oh. He, he messed it up. This is going to add to the heart rate. 
I just do it another four times, and maybe Flame can catch him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's got twelve shots at this. Oh, any extra bonkers wall? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to mad. How mad is Andy? <laughs> a solid seven, I think. <laughs> I need Jim to teach to teach Andy how to do that, that trick consistently. Save us all, Jim. All right, it has been pressed. GG, Andy. GG, G. Gonna give him 13, gonna take game one. Um, Not gonna do interviews for this. We're gonna let him just head on over. Uh, Antheline with the forfeit there. Stop throwing for content, Andy. <laughs> content sure has been. Has been delivered. Thank you, Andy. And thanks for Lane. Like those close snipes. Oh yeah. They kept him in race for, for so long.